look what arrived today. So, Hi. without further ado, let's see if I can open it. My son is my cameraman today. With my very fine iPhone 6S Plus. Alright. So far, pretty solid. Let's get this crap off. Off with you. And it's a pretty solid box. I like it. Let's open this bad boy up. And now, the dongle. So says Retrobit. I don't see Sega's logo anywhere on here. Well, at least one of the dongles. That's right. I like the velvet feel. All I can think of is Eddie Murphy in the end of Coming to America. This is beautiful. What is this velvet? This is beautiful. What is that velvet? Anybody remember that? And now the USB dongle. And it's just got one button on it. I don't see any instructions in there. If you want to find the instructions, lift this up. And there you have it. Here's your USB. That is my retro side. And now the very fancy manual. Ooh. Hmm. So to charge it, you plug it in. Once fully charged, the LED will stay on. So the Genesis is start and B. The Genesis Mini is start and B. I don't have a Saturn. And the Switch is start and B. And the PlayStation is start and B. And the Mac is start and B. You know what? I think I got it. I did ask Retrobit if they compared to this both of them simultaneously and unfortunately not you got to pick which one you want to use you just hit the pair button and hopefully all is well so now let's feel the controller all right so i know some of the early models had a problem with the c button i'm gonna see if that's a problem and it looks exactly like a six button stay good controller Okay, let's feel our buttons. All right, D-pad on this one. Actually, it's a little tighter than this one. All right, the buttons feel the same to me. Obviously, the original ones do not have L and R. It just has this crappy mode button right here. But now we have a home and a, let's just say select, and then start looks like it turns it on, and now it's looking for something. So without further ado, we're gonna check to see how it works with the Genesis Mini. So this does work as expected. Let's play a six button game. Hmm, I think Street Fighter is the only one there. Yeah, 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 whatever. The top. Punches, bottom, kicks. Now, I've been playing with this for, for a couple days now. Really been testing out the C button, which is supposed to get stuck on the early models. We'll see. Ryu. We're going to China. China! That's with the hard kick. There's my Hadouken. There we go. That's what we're trying to... Take that, Chun Li. Alright. Happy with that one. Let's move on to a game I actually like. I know, it's blasphemy. I don't like this version. This version kind of blows. You 
You know what? I really like the first Sonic. Seems to work. Now, I'm not exactly too prone to lag anyway, but I'm not noticing any. Plays just like I remember. I remember when I first got this thing, I could not figure out what that big-ass ring was for. It was for this, the bonus stage. Now, I'm usually pretty good at getting this first Chaos Emerald, but let's see if I screw it up on camera. Crap, crap, crap. Get in there, you little bastard. Crap. Ah, I made it. Yep, I got it. I got it. Oh, so if you want to get back to the main screen, press the select button, and that'll bring you right into the system menu on this console. So we're going to save my game. Yes. Return to the main menu. I'll do one more game on this before I switch over to a real Genesis. I'm sorry. Mega SG. I'm really not good at many of these games. Castle of Illusion's one of my favorites, too. And if anybody's watched for a while, you know that's the one I use almost as my de facto game to test out new hardware. Once Upon a Mouse. I always use B and C. Yeah, 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 whatever. I love the music in this game. See, look, he's just going in. Still noticing no discernible lag. Boom. 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 Still have it. You know, I got this game when I was 13 years old. And the Genesis had already been out for two years. Whoops, just let on my age. That's alright. I'm an old fart and everybody knows it. An old fart gamer. Come on, you poor little trees. You're invincible when you're on the vine. I wish Castlevania would have taken notice of that. Now you drop down here, you get an extra Mickey. And now a big-ass apple's gonna come rolling down and attack him. You can just jump over it here. But if you do it too soon, another one will come. And there it is. All right, I am now going to switch over to the Mega SG. And just so Nintendo doesn't feel left out, I have my Switch right here. All right, so here it is, right here. And it's plugged in. It doesn't want to stay. It's plugged in. There, you can see it better this way. So it's plugged in. We'll turn it on. Obviously, it's not synchronized, so we'll hit start, and then I'll push this little button right here, and I'll just press start again, and I think, let's switch over, and you can see, 
now it's synchronized. You know what? Let's start things off with Ultra Core. As I hit the A button, it goes. Look at that, it's loading. So the controller is being used right now as a Sega Master System controller, and it seems to work fine. Alright, so one negative thing about this, unlike the controller from 8-Bit Do, there's no button that takes you back to the main menu, which sucks! There we go. So you have to use the command, which I don't particularly like, but it is what it is. So I'm going to try it on a Genesis title just to see if there's something similar about that. Because sometimes the Sega Master System and 32X games, which I can't use on here, but sometimes they act a little squirrely with these controllers. So let me see. Give me a sec. Alright, so here's Battletoads. And here you can see. No amount of button presses are putting me back on the main menu. So that's a downside. Still looks good. Still plays well. Take that. You have to get good at killing these crows, or you are dead frog. I'm not seeing any problems with the control. My only gripe so far has been the fact that you can't and this is a really minor gripe. You cannot use a button as a shortcut to get back to the main menu. So I don't know. Would it would it change from would it change me from using this instead of the 8-bit do? I don't know. Truthfully, it's the same damn thing. It's just in a different form factor. The same form factor that us kids in the 90s knew, but that's that's really the only difference, you know? Other than that, the 8-bit do controller is perfectly fine. The RetroBit controller is perfectly fine. This one is officially licensed, which is a nice feature, especially given that I am a 90s teen. And I got my first Genesis. I've had three, four now. Come here. So I do like this controller. Like I said, in the Sega Mini, you can push this button and it'll take you right back to the main menu without having to use any of the hotkeys or the, or the reset button, what have you. But none of these buttons seem to do anything on the Mega SG. Neither do these right here, the shoulder buttons, of which there's two. You know, in case you want to use it on another console. And I think I'm going to try it on the Switch, too. What do you think on that? That'll be another video. I'm not going to do that now. But overall, it's pretty nice. I like it. Seems to be solidly made. I love seeing a Sega logo in 2019. It's very nice. So, what do you think? Worth it? I mean, it's only like 25 bucks. It's not worth it's not that expensive, and I think all in all it's pretty good. So, leave your comments below. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>